bid farewell to the cradle of civilization. Let us mourn her with a traditional ballad. Not pass yourself off as a real person among actual people. I lived among otters once for a month. Human I... beings are not otters. Exactly. It'll be even easier. <laughs> you know how sometimes I have really brilliant ideas. Yeah. Sorry. Look at me on my target. Just hurry up, please, or I'll hit you with my shoe. Don't be lasagna. Oh, a mission to No shop downstairs. I'll have a shop. Not a big one, just a shop. So people can shop. Right then. I have questions, but number one is this. What in the name of sanity have you got on your head? It's a fez. I wear a fez now. Fezes are cool. Oh! They're independently cross. Uh, they probably want to seed from the rest of my face and set up their own independent state of eyebrows. That's Scott. I am Scottish, and I've gone Scottish. Oh, yes, you are. You are definitely Scots, sir. Oh, I, I hear it, your voice. Oh, no, that's good. Oh. Oh, that's good. I'm Scottish. I'm Scottish. I am Scottish. I can complain about things. I can really complain about things now. Not impressive. Annoying. Oh, this is impressive. This is annoying. Ouch! 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 It is! It is! It is! It is! Oh! Done. You're completely mad. You're right. I looked after one shoe. <laughs> Barefoot on the moon. Hey, you! The hat, the coat, the crickety cricket stuff, the stick of celery. So, you recognize me then? You're wearing a different coat. You saw straight through that. Deep cover. In my school. Why? Where's the teeth? What have you done with him? He's fine. Hypnotized. He thinks he's got the flu. Also, a flying car and three wives. It's going to be a rude awakening. These are evil. Bad, bad beans. Can somebody untie me, please. Do you think I'm pretty? No. You're too short and bossy, and your nose is all funny. Good enough. London. What a dump. Okay, how do we find him? How do we know what we're looking for? Anachronisms. The slightest, <laughs> tiniest. <laughs> So I may have accidentally invented a boyfriend. Yeah, I did that once, and there's no easy way to get rid of an android. No, you're right. Not a single word. Just six. I don't think so. Six words. Stop it. Six. Don't you think she looks tired? Oh, look, this is the Oval Office. I was looking for the, uh, oblong room. I'll, 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 I'll just be off then. Shall I? Before I die of old age, which in my case would be quite an achievement, so congratulations on that, is there anyone else I can talk to? I bought it for my fish. You fish. I may have ordered online. Oh, come on. Fish tank. Honestly, this stuff will be hilarious in a very few hundred years. Do please stick around. What's the matter with him? He's never like this. Oh, you really are new, aren't you? Laid down some backing vocals. Don't worry about the future. The future's really... safe. Really, really safe. And five, very important, five, don't let me eat pears. I hate pears. John Smith is a character I made up, but I won't know that. I'll think I am him, and he might do something stupid like eat a pear. In three months, I don't want to wake up from being human and taste that. Shall I run to get the manual? I threw it in a supernova. You threw the manual in a supernova? Why? Because I disagree with it. Stop talking to me when I'm cross. Doctor! I've cracked your flowers. Oh, Amy will kill you. I am bound never to reveal my secrets. Go about your day knowing that you may tell people you were privileged to witness the marvelous apparating man. Lady. Apparating lady! Every time. I'm dying, Doctor.
You keep saying that, you keep not dying. Can you give it some welly? Come on. I'm the doctor. Do everything I tell you, don't ask stupid questions, and don't wander off. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. Bow ties are cool. Are you from another planet? Yeah. Would you care for some tea? That would be very nice, thank you. Would you care for some tea? We've got hidden talents, as well as hidden arms. Are you going to negotiate with these aliens? They're not aliens. They're earth aliens. Is it an evil spirit? It's a woman. First things first. One, we are going to climb through this ship. B. No. Two, we are going to reach the bridge. Three, or C, we are going to save the Titanic. And coming in a very low fall, or D, or that little IV in brackets, they're using footnotes. Why? Right then, follow me. I'm being extremely clever up here, and there's no one to stand around looking impressed. What's the point in having you all? And I've also introduced the word dude several centuries early. Let me hear you! Dude. Are you a Renaissance? Dude. Are you a medieval? Dude. I am a dragon sling! Dude. We are all the young! Dude. I like it! Who the man? Oh, so I'm never saying that again. Fine. I really don't know what to do. That's a new feeling. I'm sitting in the TARDIS now, and I'm going to wind up soon, but not before I make a few strange noises with my mouth that will go somewhere along the lines of bingle bongle, dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da, ping pong, lippy tappy too ta. Seriously? Well, you never answer your phone. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm the doctor. And I just snogged Madame de Pompadour. <laughs> I could kiss you. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Do shut up, want? just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut it up, up, up. Amy, with regret, you're fired. What? Humany woomany. Now, don't tell me you're gonna sit back and do nothing. Who are you gonna call? Yes, that's it! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> I could do this all day. There's a horror movie called Alien. That's really offensive. No wonder everyone keeps invading you. <sighs> to do the terminals this way. <sighs> yeah. Still got it. Garbage disposal, right? Get ready to say we can't you read? Of course I can read. Read what? The door. It says. Keep out. No, it says go away, humans. Oh, so it does. Never lose your temper in the middle of a door sign. Still me? Nice. Oh. On a loop. At arms. What are you going to do? Moisturize me. With acid. Hey, Missy, you so fine, you so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Missy. Hey. Excuse me. Important to me, you get along. I could leave you two alone together. Now you're creeping me out. Take this is Clara, not my assistant. She's uh, some other word. I'm his carer. Yeah, my carer. She cares, so I don't have to. I'm the doctor. Don't you dare. Doctor Oswald. <clears throat> you can call me Clara. I'm Rigsy. So, uh... What are you a doctor of? Of lives. Well, I'm usually quite vague about that. I think I just picked the title because it makes me sound important. My doctor knows what you are hilarious. Can we get back to work, do you think? You're from Scotland Yard? Yes. It's fine if you don't tell me your secrets. I intend to keep mine, but don't lie to me. Oh, what? I heard Mr. Huffle. I tend to bite yourself. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh, no, no, no. Line in the sand. Santa Claus does not do the scientific explanation. Because the real question is, where did I get a cup of tea? Answer, I'm the doctor. Just accept it. Why can't you leave me alone? What did I ever do to you? 
You tried to kill me and destroy this entire planet. Apart from that. Any questions? Why do you have a Union Jack parachute? Um, camouflage. Camouflage? Yes, we're in Britain. Musical Linda. Wait, aren't you two on the same team? Yep.